J motherfucking rock, nigga, what it do? do? All red trucks yelling out, so woo. So Known by them niggas that be wearing all blue. blue. That's why I get a pass every time I ride through. through. Eastside Bonnie on the watch, that's my click. click. Niggas send guard, this nigga, you know the bricks. 90059, you know the zip. Top dog. Juggalos and Juggalettes, this is Big E and coming at you again. Fresh off the independent grind tour with Strange Music's newest artist, J Rock. J Rock, say hello to everybody. Yo, what's up with y'all, man? You already know what it is, man. J-Rock, Watts, California, 90059, you know the zip, straight up. J-Rock, the first thing I gotta ask you is, um, just for anybody watching this in interview, can you please give us a quick rundown on kind of who you are, your history in the rap game, and uh, where you stand as an artist today? Uh, uh, basically, my name is J-Rock, represent Watts, California, born and raised out the Nixon Going Projects, you know what I'm saying, the most notorious projects, the biggest projects, west side of Mississippi, you feel me, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, I got to the music game when I was like young. I always had a had a thing for rap music. I always had a talent to rap, but I was always in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You know, dropped out of school, just doing all that dumb shit. That you know, just being you know what I'm saying, a hard head. You know what I'm saying? And then tell one of my big homies grew up in my neighborhood. I didn't know he was into the music game like that. He used to always come lecture to his young cats about being in the streets. And you know what I'm saying? I was one of those dudes that didn't want to listen. I was always running from him. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, he was looking at for me to do some music. You feel me? So. You know, finally caught up with me, you know what I'm saying? Shot the top dog, you feel me? He keeps sh screwing me up out the hood, man, and put me in the studio, man. You know, like a lot of my friends, family, always pushing me to do the music. Like, man, you got the talent, man. You got the voice, you know the rap, man. You don't need to be in these streets doing this and doing that. So I took heed of that, man, and, and stayed in the studio. And look at me now, man, I had a uh, hit called Lift Me Up. You know what I'm saying? That was like one of the biggest uh, records in my, in my city, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Julio G, you know what I'm saying? He was the first DJs ever spent my record on the radio, you know what I'm saying? I actually shot him the record and I asked him, you know what I'm saying, man, uh, what you think about this record? And he loved it so much that he just edited itself and put it on his radio show and that's how I really got really got to notice and then I started doing mixtapes. I did a mixtape with DJ Ski. Shout out to DJ Ski of Watch Finders Volume One. Just burn the streets up with the mixtape game, you know what I'm saying? And uh uh Finally got signed to Warner Brother Records, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Naeem Ali, you know what I'm saying? Got signed to Warner Brother Records. You feel me? I had a single called All My Life featuring Lil Wayne and Will I Am, you know what I'm saying? That was real big. That was like one of the biggest records in the country, you feel me? But, you know, uh, Warner Brothers didn't really have our back 100% on that record. That record was the biggest record and it kind of went down. So me and my team, we was unhappy, you know what I'm saying? We felt they wanted, you know what I'm saying, in our best interest. But shout out for Warner Brothers for even giving me the opportunity to do what I was doing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I met Tech 9 like a few years back. I've always been a Tech 9 fan, always been a fan of his music. I started telling him he was killing the underground, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the underground artists that never really been noticed like that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I was up on him, you know what I'm saying? And I finally got a chance to meet him. He was doing the Yeah video, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Or Estevan. That's my, my, you know what I'm saying? My master homie, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Or Estevan Cartoon. They did his video, you know what I'm saying? They called me personally, like, man, come out to the video, man. Come meet Tech, you know what I'm saying? I met him. We've been cool ever since. So Tech Nine f found out about my, heard about my situation. He heard that, you know, I wasn't with Warner Brothers. And he was like, man, what's shit, man? What's up, man? You know, man, you got a home over here, man. Come fuck with me, man. And I'll, I want to fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of, that was big to me. I never thought Tech 9 would really holler at me, you know what I'm saying? They wanted me, you know what I'm saying? So, you feel me? I had like four other labels want to sign me, you know what I'm saying? I had a gang of labels on the table. But, you know, I felt this was the right move because, you know what I'm saying? Like, Tech 9 could been on my type of grind, you know what I'm saying? I've been grinding from that for a minute, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and I respect his movement, you know what I'm saying? I respect what he do, you know what I'm saying? And it's like no other labels could offer me touring, and you know what I'm saying? That's what I like to do. I like to stay on the road, connected with my fans. Like, I went on the road with Shot the Game. I went on the game, took me on the road with him two times. And just been, I didn't, was shocked to see people who knew who I was, you know what I'm saying? And love my music from way off from Rhode Island and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd be in Rhode Island and people over there listening from a dude from the projects out the West Coast, like, man, I fuck with your music, I can relate to it, you know what I'm saying? And just being out there connecting with the fans, that's big to me, you know what I'm saying? That's big, man, you feel me? So, I mean, that's what, that's what some of the things Tech 9 do, you know what I'm saying? And I respect that, and I was like, man, you know, I love to come over here, man, you know what I'm saying? And fuck with you, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? My company, you know what I'm saying? Top Dog Entertainment and Strange Music, man, we just basically join forces, man. Top Dog Entertainment, we've been on our movement, our grind for years, too, you know what I'm saying? The same on our coach, you know what I'm saying? And basically, we just 
you know what I'm saying, merge together, man, and getting it together, man, just making it even more bigger and better, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you, you first met Tech 9 in 2008 when, with the recording of the video, Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you in the video? Yeah, yes, I'm in the video, man. Y'all can check it out, man. Me and Glasses belong in the video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, uh, this was your first time meeting him, and that's when yeah. you guys first got into touch, and yeah. he reached out saying that you yeah. were welcome at his label. Yeah, yeah, and this was back in 08. That yeah, is right, impressive. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, then he, like, you know what I'm saying? He recently, like, he figured out, he knew I was going through my situation, you know what I'm saying? And knew uh, the labels wanted to sign me, and you know what I'm saying? He's just like, man, I'm kind of got it, man. You, you wanted me, you know what I'm saying? He wanted me to come join his team, man, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I was a, I was a good, man. I was big for me, man. I never really expect that, you know what I'm saying? But like I tell everybody, man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, damn, why, why are you, I mean, why, why, what made you sign the strange music? I'm like, like, man, the music, if it weren't for the music, Anyway, I would have never met Tech Nine. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even be doing what I'm doing right now if it wasn't for the music. If it wasn't for the fans, I wouldn't be able to do nothing I'm doing today. So, like I said, man, music is everything. Man, music is what brings everybody together. Whether you white, black, green, yellow, whatever, man, the music is what brings you together, man. If you love good music, you love music, man. That's what we do. Okay, and now you've been on the, the independent grind tour from the beginning, and then uh, several weeks into the tour, it was announced that you had been signed to Strange Music as its newest artist. Had this been something y'all had been considering for a while, or, or did it all happen on the tour? Did this just kind of come out of the blue? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it didn't just come out the blue, man. It was being it been official, man. You know what I'm saying? If you made it official, man, like I said, man, y'all seen y'all seen on MTV, man, and all that, man. It's, it's official, man. You know what I'm saying? And when, like I said, we was on the road, man. You know it's. It, it, it was it was a good look, man. You know what I'm saying it's it's crazy, man. Straight up, man. It's it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so have you and Strange already started discussing um, some of the details about your first release on the on the label? I mean, no, not 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 at this time. Right now, basically, I got this new mixtape coming out called Black Friday. I mean, I'm dropping that at the uh, end of Thanksgiving. So make sure y'all be on the lookout for that, man. So we just shooting for next year for the album, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometime like in the beginning, you feel me? Like okay. Sometime around that time, I ain't got no exact, exact date yet on the album, but the album is coming for sure next year. So just keep y'all ears open, man, and just stay tuned on the websites, the blog sites, and everything, man, and y'all know for sure when the album comes. Excellent. So we got Black Friday mixtape dropping right after Thanksgiving, yeah. and then we got uh, the, the new J-Rock album yeah, being released on chain. What I'm it's sorry, called, it's called Follow Me Home. The new the new J Rock Strange Music album is going to yeah. be called Follow Me Home, and yeah. it's going to be re released in the early part of uh, 2011. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, um, J Rock, I think that's all the questions I got for you today. Okay, is there okay. anything you'd like to say to all your new fans oh, man, or people man, listening to this right man, now? Man, I appreciate the love, man. Much love, man. Respect for everybody who's been supporting J Rock, Top Dog Entertainment, man. You know what I'm saying? Been supporting us throughout the years, man. You feel me? And and that, like just being on the road, like on this independent grind tour, all the fans that that been out came to the shows man i love y'all man it was much love every city we went to man it was all love man it's it was great a beautiful thing man straight up man one love man i appreciate the love man straight up man just so if you love good music man fuck with us straight up all right well uh juggalos juggalettes j-rock yeah. big ian mm -hmm. out yeah Carnivore, who want a war? I wrestle with a dinosaur. Find a heart, have her on the corner, fucking you and yours. Off tour, steel pack. Yeah, I got the steel pack. Wish a nigga would, yeah. Shoot him till his grill snap. Barbecue a rapper like we barbecue on Labor Day. Yeah, you got them chains of things, but you ain't got no paper, man. Still be catching vapors, man. Hot boxing in a dark South Beach, MIA. Higher than a paper plane. Waving at my fans, I'm the Man, what you telling God?